Tracy lay in her hospital bed, her heart pounding with anticipation as she waited for the aliens to return. It had been 29 days since they had first visited her, acknowledging her kindness and extending an invitation to their planet, Rue. Tracy's heart swelled with hope as she remembered the moment when Maxwell, the human-looking alien, had singled her out among the countless souls on Earth. She recalled how Maxwell had approached her with a gentle smile, radiating warmth and understanding. Tracy, Maxwell had said, their voice resonating with a familiarity that transcended language barriers. We have been watching you, witnessing your acts of kindness and compassion. You possess qualities that are rare and precious to us. Tracy had listened in awe as Maxwell explained their mission, to offer selected individuals a chance to join them on Rue, where the elderly were rejuvenated and celebrated. And when Maxwell extended their hand to her, offering a glimpse of the wonders that awaited her on their distant planet, Tracy had felt a surge of excitement and gratitude unlike anything she had ever experienced. As the 30th day approached, Tracy's excitement grew, tempered only by the fear of missing her chance to return to Rue. The doctors and nurses bustled around her, preparing to sedate her once again, unaware of the imminent arrival of the extraterrestrial visitors. Just as the doctor approached with the syringe, a sudden hush fell over the room. The air crackled with anticipation as Maxwell and the other aliens, disguised as humans, materialized in Tracy's room. The doctors and nurses recoiled in shock and fear at the sight of these otherworldly beings. Tracy, Maxwell spoke, their voice gentle yet commanding. Are you ready to return to Rue? Tracy's heart swelled with relief and excitement as she looked into the eyes of her alien rescuers. Yes, she replied, her voice steady with determination. With a nod from Maxwell, Tracy rose from her bed, her movements graceful and purposeful. Before she left, she turned to the stunned doctors and nurses, a triumphant smile playing on her lips. See, I told you, she said, her words a vindication of her truth. As Tracy was enveloped in a shimmering light and transported away, she felt a surge of energy coursing through her body. She knew that once she reached Rue, she would be young again, her spirit rejuvenated and her heart filled with the promise of a new beginning. And as she left behind the world that had failed to understand her, Tracy embraced the future with open arms, ready to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. Meanwhile, the hospital staff frantically called the police to report a missing person at Cypresswood Creek Behavioral Health Hospital. The officers arrived, bewildered by the extraordinary circumstances surrounding Tracy's disappearance. They interviewed the staff, but no one could provide a satisfactory explanation for what had happened. In the days and weeks that followed, the police investigation yielded no concrete leads. The case remained open, shrouded in mystery and speculation. Rumors circulated among the staff, but no one dared to speak openly about. Tracy's encounter with Maxwell and the aliens. The hospital's reputation hung in the balance, and the truth of Tracy's departure became a closely guarded secret. Months later, an encrypted video message arrived at Cypresswood Creek Behavioral Health Hospital. In the message, Tracy appeared radiant and joyful, surrounded by Maxwell and other beings on the alien planet Rue. She spoke of her newfound youth and vitality, expressing gratitude for the opportunity to start anew. The hospital administrator watched the video in disbelief, knowing that this revelation could shake the foundations of their institution. With a heavy heart, they instructed the staff to keep Tracy's story a secret, cautioning that the truth must never be revealed to the outside world. And so, Tracy's journey to Rue remained a closely guarded secret, known only to those who had witnessed the extraordinary events that had unfolded. But in the hearts of those who had known her, Tracy's memory lived on as a testament to the power of belief and the resilience of the human spirit.